Hey guys, what's going on? So Steve and I have a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee in the garage. Actually, it's his kid's Jeep. And we're getting ready to put a window regulator in the uh, front driver's side door. So we'll show you what's involved in putting a window regulator in the Jeep. And uh, this is a pretty common thing to have fail on these trucks. I've had piles of these, thing, piles of these things and it happens quite a bit. So uh, it'd be the same procedure on the passenger side as well. And uh, we'll dive into this and we'll show you what's going on with it. All right, so we got a Jeep window regulator that failed on a 2004 Grand Cherokee. So the window slid down, so we got a couple of plastic wedges in here so that we could keep the window up for us. And um, we'll be taking those out and there goes our window. And we got a T25 torch fit in over here. We're going to be taking out right in here. And we got a Phillips screw here. And we have a little cap that we're going to pop off here that's got another screw in there. And um, so we're going to start taking these off. Start taking this thing apart. And I'm not sure if the window regulator is riveted in or bolted in. Tony seems to think it's riveted in. I bought, I have my rivet gun here and some quarter inch rivets. And I'm hoping that's not the case, but we shall see. Okay, that's a Phillips in there as well. In here. thinking about getting one of those headgear lights but you know that ain't gonna make me look very pretty so <laughs> kind of not wanting to get one yet but I'll tell you they work really well Things aren't breaking because it don't sound too good. The problem, Steve, is these trucks are kind of old at this point. It's those little plastic push pins, they get pretty brittle. Alright, so we got these little clips in here for the rods. 
We're gonna roll these off so we can take them out. We'll use our little pocket screwdriver that we have here. snap off there. Try that. All right, get that off. These things are pretty brittle in here, man. Let's try to pry this one off. I think this door will be going back in here to try and fix some of this stuff. Now I've got a big plug right here that I can unplug. And we've also got a remote mirror here that we can unplug that and unplug that. All right, we got the panel up. Now, we've got some broken plugs here and Christ, almost every one of them broke. So they should look like that. So we're gonna have to try and order some of these up. We'll be able to get the panel back on tonight and um, we're gonna have to order some of these plugs up. And um, also we have a, um, we have an issue with this thing with the door, um, with the wiring, where when you open the door up, you have this boot in here. If you look inside, Tony can get in there. It looks kind of crept right there. And we're gonna have to peel the rubber back when we get the door panel <laughs> off here. And there's gotta be a couple of broken wires in there because the window in the unlock button doesn't work unless the door is closed. When you swing the door open, it doesn't work. So there's more than likely something broken in there. So we're gonna peel that rubber boot back and address that. Yes, Steve, that's pretty common with these. I've had a couple of these and then every single one I've had that's happened in that loom. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like Steve said, you gotta go in there and fix that wire. Right, so let's get these four screws out here for the speaker. And then we can get this cover off and take a good look at the regulator. And you know, I'm gonna wanna get these pins for the door because I'm gonna want it to be tight, you know? and uh not rattle when you close the door and they're inexpensive so you might be able to find them on amazon they've got a lot of that stuff out there so what i'll do too um in the description of the video i'll see if i can find some out there and i'll throw a link in the description for you guys to them if they happen to be out there so just check out check it out look for that in get this last one out let's unplug the speaker Got a little push tab here Can't get that off now this car's been sitting out in the cold and that probably didn't help these these clips as much um, the little shock pins didn't want to push through these came off the top of the panel we didn't even look Possibly could have broken the top of the panel here. And yeah, it started to split it out. So you got this one right here. This one's okay. This one, no, they're both okay. Yeah, like Just got to replace them. So we can take those off and slide those back in there. And uh, so let's get this plastic off and see what we got going on with this window regulator. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I you gotta be careful peeling this goo off. You know, 
once you get it going, you just kind of keep working it. And you know, with with the heat, this is a lot better. Yeah. Little trick too is you could use like a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat it up. If it's a little stubborn, it'll come off easier, right, Steve? Yeah. So we got these two cables coming through here, so we're gonna have to feed them through it. But you want the sticky stuff to stay stuck on this on this panel. Sound deadening and uh, we'll go with that. Now it looks like this one came through this hole here. This is for our heated mirror. You gotta remember to put that back through there. Got our electrical plug that's gonna pull through the center over here. These two rods are kind of rigid, they ain't really moving, so these metal rods are going to stay where they are. Let's see if we can peel all of this off and then we'll slide the whole thing this way. Yeah, this thing is just kind of brittle from the age of it, you know? In and um, let's see if Tony's correct in this thing is okay so I got a couple of bolts here a couple of bolts here and a couple of bolts here so I might might have gotten lucky with this one where it's bolt on uh, this is a 2004 who years was yours a three or a two I've had pretty much every year <laughs> they're all the same from 99 to 2004 right. they're, all, they're the same way guys yeah okay so they didn't change anything yeah I got Two here, so let's go look at our new regulator. And one other thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this rubber off right here for the trim. Now take a look how tight it is here on each end because it's got to. You want it to go back in the same spot. Just slide that up, and you know we had put our wedges in there, so we kind of want to spring this back. See, this is where our wedges were pushing in. It's a little dented, so. Let's just try and spring this back right now. So when we put this back on, you know, it's gonna seat correct. See, that one's already starting to straighten out a little bit. So, so we'll be good. Okay. All right, so these are 10 millimeters. And let's go take our new one. So you got a 10, a 10, these are fives for the motor. Another 10 out of 10. Let's go open up our new regulator and uh, lay it up and see what we got going on here. And uh, as far as the window goes, it looks like it. That's where I think your rivets are coming in, bro. I think that's where they're riveted onto the track here. Well, maybe not. Let's see how this comes off the track here. Let's go take a look at our new regulator. It looks like there's a couple of clips in here that we'll show you. And I think that's what it is. I think there's a couple of ball and clip things. So let's open up the new regulator. All right, so we got some 10 millimeters we're gonna take out here. So that the, when we put the regulator in, we'll be able to, uh, you know, push it in. But we'll probably just be able to line up the hole. So we're going to try and go that route. 
you gotta pop this clip down, this red clip down here, and this is the plug for the door, for the motor. Let's get that unplugged and we'll push this through. And now these are the 516s for the motor. There's three of them right here. And it looks like we can just loosen these up and slide slide the assembly up. Now, on the top of the window, we we, we taped the window up. But we might have been a little premature with that because we're going to have to get the clips off for this. On the bottom of the window, it has two pins, and it looks like it goes through these clips right here. Um, which are right here and and they pop through and then lock into the tabs and it looks like you can do that after you get the window in place and just line them up so we can put the whole regulator in but they're still they're still connected to this piece right here so we're gonna have to take that off so let's see if we can get this regulator assembly out of here and this screw came off and this thing is all broken apart and it, it's still attached to the top of the window in here. And, uh, and that's what's holding this thing on. So it looks like we find a way to push these pins out on the window. I think I can feel the clips up in here and I think I can just extract the clips. Um, we're gonna, it doesn't really seem like I can pull this regulator over too much because it's bound onto the, the clips and the new regulator comes with the clips in the lower position. So I'm gonna grab a pick and pull these clips out here and here and I should be able to get the window to pop out. I can feel the clips with my fingers right in here. So I should, I'm gonna get a little 90 degree pick and pull them out. All right, I got my little 90 degree pick. I'm going to feel my fingers up in here. Okay, there's the clip here. Okay, there's one of them. Got twang. Got the twang. <laughs> now that's why the regulator, when you get it, is shipped with the clips in the bottom here. Um, on the, the bottom of the the regulator so it'll be easy to put the window in. You'll slide it down the track and you'll be working down here. And you can put the window up halfway and maybe catch your clips over here. Let's see here. bottom of the door from the other regulator exploding. There's a bunch of crud in here. When you go and close the door, you're going to hear this crap rattling. So if you can get any of it out right now. They hear crap rattling. They just bring it over here, right? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. All right. So these screws were taken out. Um, We can actually loosen them up and we have grooves that these fit into and this is like a universal motor that they're using this was a cardone we got it on rock auto and it was like 29 bucks which is pretty damn reasonable for everything that we got so we can bolt this all in in this position this is the way it's going to go in just like this okay and when we get done we're going to slide our window down and pop them through these two clips 
you shouldn't have to remove these clips. The window should just pop right through those two holes and spread the clip out. So we can feed this thing in. And then we have the two screws up here that go here. We got one for here, which is there. These three are gonna go into the holes right here. And then we have one down the bottom, which is this one right here. So um, we technically could put, um, I'm not gonna put a screw in and then try and lift it up and find the hole. I think we'll just, we'll line it up and then get these, the motor in. I'm gonna try and feed it in like this position here. And we have the window in the up position right now. So we kinda wanna keep that in that position. This is all kinda tight you know, going in here. You gotta feed it in gingerly. Metal plate stays on, and all right. So we got, we got this one over there, and that one there. Okay, these are the tens. Let's get this one in first. one in the middle here because this is the one the track drives by. That's our shortest one. And this one over here. Alright so everything's in place right now so we can tighten these all down with the tens. pins down here we're starting to line up with the hole and we're gonna have to just line these up and I gotta get this one this uh, cable through the hole here trying to get this through here can't really see the other one. Kind of having a go by feel here. All right, there it is. All right, so that one's lined up. It looks like this one's lined up. I just got to squeeze these through now. Okay, that one's in. I don't know if I can get this one with my hand. That one's lined up. I just got to somehow pull that window in to the track. I think I'm going to try and get a bar in here and push the plastic over to get it to lock and you'll hear it snap. Let me get a longer bar. Okay. 
think I have to get the glass to... Plug the motor in, and let's see. Oh, good, my glove. I got a clip back on. All right, so we got all this bolted on. The regulator's in and the motor's in. So now the next thing is, um, you know, we can turn the key on, but the problem I'm having is I got a problem with the wiring in here. So we're gonna pull this wiring back while we have the window in, out here and see if we can fix this connection here. Now looking inside, it looks like it's got a plug clip right here that we can unplug and pop this whole thing right out. And that, that's gonna be pretty sweet. So it's got the same style lock clip that we have right here and the same style push tab. So we're gonna try and take this out right now. And let me get a screwdriver, a flat end screwdriver, pop that up, disconnect the plug, and we can pull this whole thing out and find out if we got any broken wires here. And we'll want to bet that we have some. So we get a flat end screwdriver and do that. So this is the connection Steve was just talking about. That red clip right there, it's gonna pop that up. Let's see if we can worm that thing out of there. I don't have to, I don't know how to unplug this thing. Oh, it's coming through the cap here. There it is, you gotta pull it forward, and then you can squeeze the, the connection. Oh, there's my broken wire right there. Is it? See it right there? Yep. Nice. Look at the camera there's in there. A couple of them. Yeah, this is typical, Steve. Yeah. So you gotta see that one right there, guys? It's just a black wire. There's another one, right? You saw it? Yeah. So you gotta fix those. Alright, I'm gonna disconnect this connector and uh, pull this thing out so we can fix that. Okay. So here's the squeeze connector, and we unlocked it. I want to squeeze this now and unplug this. It's been plugged in for 20 years. Okay. All right, get my hand out of there. Okay, so now then this rubber boot, you got to try and get it back. All right, so we got one fat black wire that's broken. Do we have any more? There's our other fat. All right, let's give this a good inspection here. And it looks like, looks like this wire is a little frayed, but it ain't bad right there, this big fat orange one here. And this boot, let's see what this boot does here. Because I can't, I'm not sure if I can get this cap. Yeah, it's a pain. To get this off. Yeah. see I get this wire I can fix this wire in here I just want to really give this a good look to yeah, make sure that there's no other here. you know and that other fat orange wire must do something but it's it doesn't look like it's damaged so I think I just got this one wire and this black wire man the weird thing is you would you would have to close the door for the window to go down and the power door locks to work and it was just touching so that it would do that so <laughs> the rest of these look okay i'm not going to go any farther with pulling 
anything else apart here. I was concerned with this fat orange wire and that one looks okay. All right, so we're just gonna fix this black wire with a heat shrink wrap butt connector. Let me get some strippers and we'll strip this back and make the repair. All right, so I got my wire strippers and I'm going back like a half an inch. Stripped it. Now it's kind of a crappy area to work in, but you know what, we're gonna make the best of it. I got my blue shrink wrap. Let's see if that crappy area of the video went. <laughs> no. Thanks, Tony. Hurry up with the strippers, all right? Mm. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna crimp this down now. After you crimp it, you want to give it a little tug, make sure that you're good, okay? And we don't want to really break the seal on this thing. Now I have some sheet shrink wrap that I might slide a piece up over in here to make sure that this thing stays good. And before I make this connection, I'm going to go get a little piece and we'll slide it over it. So maybe we could double heat shrink wrap it. I really don't think I need to. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I think I'm gonna be all right by just fixing it like this. And this connection went in like this. The wire is good, it was just broken. I stripped it back enough to slide it into the, into the shell here. Line that up. Twist it in there, all right, it's all pushed in nice. I keep my finger in here to keep the wires separated. Because it sucks when that wire comes out. Yeah, and this, <laughs> this fucking, excuse my French here, this boot is... This boot is in a bad... Yeah, we keep it real on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so we got that pushed up in there. I'm going to crimp this right now. Pulling the wire, okay, that's good. Now I have to heat this up, but I'll burn in my hand. Pull the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Hey, my car. Uh, you can use a heat gun in here. Yeah. What fun would that be? Harbor Freed actually has a pretty decent one I picked up. It's a soldering gun and the heat gun. It looks pretty good. Okay. All right, that shrunk on that good. Sweet. All right. So we got that all in there. We got our repair made. And should be good so always be really careful when using an open flame like that around yeah. the rubber and everything yeah and we're pretty we're yeah. pretty careful with what we do yeah but if possible you know use like a heat gun or something all right so we're going to start sliding this plug back together i think you're supposed to put the rubber on and then put it in the hole yeah but it's <laughs> very tight to, to get the fuck get the rubber on not the so Yeah, it's gonna be fun putting this rubber on, so let's yeah, get this so. clip in here. Hey, hurry up, my wife's cooking a pot roast. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't wanna be late for supper. Okay, all right, we got that on. All right. 
Now I can feed this, connect the back through. Lock in a place, slide the clip down, and okay. Oh, geez, wasn't that easy? Yeah, just like that. Everybody at home, it's just wonderful. <laughs> just wonderful. All right. Okay, so now once I stand up and give my legs some circulation again, we'll come back. Okay, so fortunate for us, every one of these yellow button plugs broke. <laughs> okay, so you can buy them from Dorman, and we looked on Amazon, and Dorman had a box like 25 for 25 bucks, and we've seen some uh, other ones on Amazon, same exact thing, that were 20, 20 for like six dollars. So we're gonna order them up. We're gonna put the door panel back on tonight. We're gonna have like two two plugs holding it on and three screws, and that's the way it's gonna be for tonight. Um, we'll get this thing all together. We're gonna plug our electrical connector back in it, and we can also order these online too. These little clips right here, and they didn't break, but Man, they just seem, I, I'm, I, for the, probably a dollar a piece, I think I'm gonna just get some just in case. And um, so they just seem pretty brittle. So, so Steve, Steve was pretty gingerly getting the plugs out, but they broke, this part goes in the, into the hole, that's what they broke. So that trim fork, it goes into here and it pries the door panel away from the, the skin of the uh, door. But they're just 18 years old, so. And maybe if it was 100 degrees out and these things are really warm, it'd be a different story, but they all just snap like nothing, so. Yeah. All right, so let's get this door out. We gotta put the, next thing we're gonna do is get our cover back on the door. Okay. All right, let's get our <coughs> speaker plugged back in here. Unfortunately, with these panels clips broken, you know, it may rattle a little bit, but we're going to order them up and at least they'll be able to use the door. We've got three good screws holding it on, so. Okay. Got a snowstorm coming. This truck's got to go. Tony can't have me living in the tropics, so we unfortunately have to deal <laughs> with snow around here. Yeah, no kidding. It's terrible. It is. We gotta move to Florida. That's right. We're coming, baby. We're gonna get on the air. Instead of fixing cars, we're gonna be chasing alligators and snakes. <laughs> That's where all the money is. Like that guy Shelby <laughs> on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're going to shoot our guns and uh, look for snakes and alligators. There you go. Yeah. We'll fix swamp boats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay. All right, so we got our rubber right here that we need to put back on. Just like that. Took this off. And yeah, get the tape off after this, huh? Okay. Get this on. Remember, we had the wedges in there. We pushed it back out, and it sprung out pretty good. It looks pretty good there now. So now we have to hang our door panel onto the inside edge here, and we're going to plug it in, and uh, we'll turn the key on with the door panel just kind of sat in place and we're going to make sure that everything works good with the window and uh, let's go from there. So let's get our panel 
And like I said, we'll order new plugs for it and get the pop the panel back on, replace the plugs. It looks like there's about 10 plugs on it, and, uh, and that'll keep it nice and tight. And we're going to order the two new clips that pop onto these um, because they seemed a little, little brittle. And I'm going to have to take the panel back off anyways. So um, we're probably going to do an extension on the video to show you that. And uh, let me go grab the panel and get this on. All right, so we have our two clips here. And this one went on the top one. Looks like. Boy, this panel is like nothing to grab onto it. Crazy. So you got two here, so this one clips into here. Hope they don't break. Okay, and then you rotate the clip back and then you lock it in place. All right, we'll grab this one. Do the same thing with this one. Okay, lock this one in place. And then this one, the heated mirror, the mirror switch right here so this one has to run up into here okay and then this one is for the door down here the main switch and this is all feel you can't really get your melon in here to to do this so There it is. So the shock fin went outside. Okay, so we get that locked on. And we're gonna, I mean, there's like nothing to grab on this panel to hold it, kind of suck the deal. underneath this and there's like one or two clips holding this sucker on. We got the screw it's gonna go through here. We push the push the door panel in. You can line that one up with the Phillips. And that's what's gonna hold the door panel on pretty much until we get that the clips right here. Just have to poke through the mat. Okay. All right, so we get that on. Now we're obviously pretty cocky with this because we should have turned the key on. Oh, the joy of it all! <laughs> <laughs> Kid's gonna be happy, Steve. No, he's not. <laughs> He'll bring something else. Justin, you get on that coach with the uh, cold beer. Something else is gonna break for Steve. <laughs> right? What else could go wrong, right? <laughs> All right, let's take the tape off the window and call it a day. And that's, uh, that's about it. The only, if I was going to go in and do this again, I would have ordered all new clips for the door panel and the two little yellow clips that hold the door rod on for the door lock button and stuff. Uh, but it went pretty smooth. It took us 45 minutes with that. And, uh, I'll be you guys.